Yeah. Can I just do it again? No, no, it's okay. Okay. Okay, so the first place I should show you is Dixie's house. One of the most uh, famous, <laughs> famous trailers. Yeah, the first one you see. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, he's always got his radio on, even at night, when you come in. And he's got a little cat, too. <laughs> so this is one of the most fun. Has there been a crime here recently? No. Okay, I was just curious because there's police lines you don't cross all over the trail. Oh, jeez, well, maybe you should be. He looks fine. Um, <laughs> and when did you move here? I moved here last October. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, You're okay. And, um, and I stayed here for about a year. Okay. And it was really nice. Everybody was just so nice. Lovely. So. And you wrote the record while you were here. I did. I did. And do you feel like it influenced the writing on the record? Yes. Good. I um, do. I do. I know that the trailer park has a very special place in Americana. It does in America. And it does... In my heart as well. Excellent. Yeah. Here's one car. <laughs> um Yeah, just because you know, it's like a to have it's like you can have your own place and you have like a chance at your own life. And it's a good too. Absolutely. Um did you know your neighbors? I, I did. Is there anybody around here we should? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, 
And um, I had, I had, um, I had lots of like big phases and uh, like you know, fake aquariums and <sighs> pirate ship clocks and sand shell pictures. Hi, kitty, kitty. And. Oh. Um, It's just, it was really fun. This might be Martha. This might be Dixie's Martha. I don't know. But, um, it was just fun because I, uh, I moved in here pretty much when, when I started recording the record. And, um, you know, we recorded that record for three months straight and worked, like, from three to three every day. And then I'd come home here, and I'd like lay in bed all day and listen to the Beach Boys and drink pink lemonade. <laughs> and, you know, wait to go to work again. See David Kahn. It was good time. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. Um, do you like steel? No. <laughs> Um, just the usual suspects. We had the Beach Boys and Flamingos. And you talk some about metal. And I do. And like boys who like metal. I love boys. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and we are in New Jersey. We are, thank so God. So this is, this is sort of like ground zero for boys who like metal. Yeah, it's pretty much why I came here, you know. It's like a call. <laughs> so here it is. Come find me. <laughs> um, is there any uh, romances in the trailer park? Well, mm, um, yeah. Well, not not like from within, but ah. I guess I did enter into the trailer park. And I had some good friends, Bill and Jim, who come and pick me up and drive me around and find a new 7-Eleven to go explore. <laughs> um, but yeah. A new 7-Eleven to go explore? Yeah. This yeah. is, are they building lots? Like, what's the Not really, but I like to get dressed up and just go find the 7-Eleven to buy something, yeah. As one does, what do you buy? So these. <laughs> Classic choice. Classic choice, Classic right? Choice. Um, but it's just, I mean, it does kind of, it does kind of look different right now than it does. When were you last year? I was last year in August, late August. Okay. And then you moved to the city? Yeah. Okay. And were there any neighbors other than? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, right here. Well, we called each other a different name every time, <laughs> but Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the uh, the name of the day or an actual? That's the actual name. But I meant um, the guy who has the red car. He always had the best fake flower garden, so I was in competition with him, but I never won. <laughs> Is that an actual Jersey muscle car that we are looking at? I like to think so. It's not like a real well. Yeah. I, I feel like this is the Discovery Channel. <laughs> I, I wanted it, it is in their natural habitat. <laughs> we see the Jersey muscle guy. It's wonderful. It's like, yeah. I mean, I want to get I want to get back here. That's my Ivy. Oh, still there. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> still looking just as fresh. Yeah. As I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what what is the inside of like one of these? Everyone is really different, but mine had um, like um, shag brown carpet, and there was a bed right there, and a couch, and then the kitchen, and a bathroom, and then another bedroom. Ah. So there's a lot of room. It's larger than my apartment in Manhattan. Yeah, and probably cheaper too. Yes, I would imagine <laughs> so. But how much do these things cost? <laughs> mine was 525 a month. Excellent. Yeah. 
Well, it's fun because when everybody's out, you know, like on their tricycles and stuff, you, you feel like you're a part of a community. And Are these children on the tricycles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like if you've got adults on tricycles and it's 5:25 a month, I am here. <laughs> Sign me up. We can go and do it together. Yeah, there we go. Hello. How are you? I was um, I was telling Molly earlier. I was looking at like the police history. Oh, really? To see if there were any like dramatically cool crimes. Oh, oh, I didn't see anything. anything. There was nothing that happened while you were here? Yeah, no. Okay. I mean. No. Okay. Well, this is a little disappointing. Uh, I think it's different everywhere, but the, but it was pretty, um, it's pretty quiet here. Like, if I left, you know, I would have someone, like, they would know when you go, and then they would they would watch your place. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's nothing to this, you know. The, the, the lock doesn't even work. I mean, like, look, there's a chain on the gate, and that's it. <laughs> the but, family, sort of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and why did you decide to move out here? I mean, it was it was a pretty. Like, I always knew I was going to try and get here and to write about here. <laughs> Why um, this particular park? Is there any... It's the closest, one, the closest trailer park to Manhattan. That makes sense. I mean, there, I think there is one, um, like, near Liberty, Liberty Harbor or something, but I, I couldn't figure out how to get there. And when we were coming on the train today, we saw that phenomenal view of Manhattan. Oh my God! It was amazing. So that was, so that was like a big part of the inspiration for a lot of the songs. Definitely for Blue Ribbon, Sparkler, Trailer Heaven. Um, just because, yeah, what a way to appreciate the city. We right. were sipped after the credits. It was, it was pretty, wasn't it? Yeah. A beautiful angle. You were saying that you wrote a lot of your lyrics. Right. I wrote I wrote some of my lyrics here. I wrote half of my lyrics here, and half of them were already done. Okay. But yeah, definitely like the more upbeat ones were written here. That is half of these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 It's easier to write when I'm happy. Then everything comes really quickly. Are you writing now? Yeah, I don't like much of it, but I I keep writing still. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any other neighbors you'd like to show us? Well, I wish Dixie was out, although I you were right about that police tape. I didn't know if it was part of like the permanent <laughs> exhibit or something. <laughs> well, it didn't strike me as yard decoration. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure. Yeah. Who's living? You said you didn't know who lived here now. I don't know. We could we could knock. We could see. Okay. Yeah. Good. Are you getting what you need? Yeah. I see the padlock is on the. Oh, so it locks now. She couldn't have very well uh. locked herself. But Martha says she's very nice. Who's Martha? Martha is the um, landlady. Oh, yeah. what's Martha like? She's wonderful. <laughs> I called Martha when I saw the listing, and um, she came and got me that day and brought me here. And I got it that day. She was so nice, and she she then she came back with me and moved all of my stuff. Oh, that's great. And my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, was this a musician boyfriend? Yes. What did he introduce you to? How did he influence? He influenced me in a big way. He was the one who got me closest to my sound before I started working with David Kahn. And he recorded my demos with me that I then took to David. He's very smart. His name is Steven, Steven Martins. 
even saying this. <laughs> so, he came and saw this place. He liked it. Great. Yeah. And did David come out here? No, but we talked about it a lot. And he liked, he liked the idea of it. So why did you decide to move to Manhattan? After, you mean after I lived here? Uh huh. Really, honestly, just because it got too expensive, even though it was cheap. <laughs> but I don't really have another job other than singing at night when I can. And so, it was kind of a phenomenon to ever even get my own place at all. But, yeah, so then I moved. And now I just kind of live with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And did you record out here or in the city? I recorded um in the city okay. in David Kahn's studio on Gansevoort Street. And he is an angel. I love him. How did you meet him? We sent him demos. We sent him demos of um, a few songs. We sent them to a few producers and he was the first person to call us back. And then I went down and met him. Had you heard his stuff before? Yeah, I didn't know it was his. I think everyone's probably heard his stuff. Actually. I think they probably <laughs> have, because he's done some really good things. Yeah. Yeah, and then I met him, and um, we started working together right away. And you recorded for three months? Yes. Which was definitely like a life in itself. And it was it was really good. And I, And the record is good. It is good. It's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> and the full record is out in February. Yeah. Okay. February 14th. Fall goes well. That's a good day. Sounds a little release. Love day. <laughs> Absolutely. There is uh, there's a lot of love on the record too. It's, um, I think so. A lot of trailer park romance sort of. There's a lot of um, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it's. I think it's a good person. And not to, I don't know if this is off topic or not, perhaps be distracted, but um, these are amazing eyelashes. Thank you. Tell me about these eyelashes. I just, I can only say that um, I wouldn't be without them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Thank They're like you. blue lines or something? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and just to continue on the makeup theme, lip liner? Always lip is liner. Is this a Jersey special? No, no. <laughs> it's an essential every day. This is true for everyone. I think somebody asked me if I was on a desert island. No, never mind. I won't even go there. <laughs> but I have, I do always have cayenne pepper, pepper in the lip liner. Hey, good memory. I wrote it down. <laughs> is that a flip? Yeah. I have a flip. Yeah. Yeah. They're so great. The thing about it though was, um, I don't know. I lost my wires to charge it. Oh. Now, uh, it lies dead. Oh. Mine has batteries. Hmm. Maybe there's different models. Yeah, mine is a little smaller. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first I've heard of it was today. It seems quite nifty.